Greetings, YouTube. This is Farmer Son Prepping here. Apologize, y'all. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's just been busy around here. We've been doing a lot of bush hogging. Everything has gotten so grown up. Our gates won't even close. and So, me and Dad both, have, we got two bush hogs. So, uh, me and Dad both have been bush hogging. Uh, everything's just grown up right now. Uh, but, uh, today I have a video for you. I know it's been a while. Again, I apologize. So, I'm going to entitle this one, uh, 10 Things I Buy at the Store Every Time I Go, Whether I Need It or Not. That's kind of my title. It's a long one, but, uh, all right. Uh, so, number one, canned meat. Will I eat bugs to survive? Absolutely. Am I in a hurry to do that? No, I am not. So, canned meat, canned chicken. I buy this every time I go. Uh, to get that, you can get these. You know, depending on what my monthly uh, income is like. I have some months I have plenty of money to spend. Some months I'm tight. Uh, Dogs have to go to the vet. Propane tanks have to be filled up. There's different things on certain months that just, you know, I'm really tight on money. So if I'm really tight on money, I'll get one of these and call it done, you know. But if I'm doing good financially wise that particular month, then I'll get one of these. Uh, so, canned meat. Number two. Gotta have it. TP. Toilet paper. On a good month, if I'm good financially, I'll get a big boy. If I'm having a rough month financially, I'll get one of these. I'm still buying toilet paper every time I go, whether I'm having a good month or a bad one. TP. I buy it every time I go to the store. 2020 taught me that lesson. Number three, soap of some type. It doesn't matter. One of my preps every month is going to be soap. If I'm having a bad month, I'll get a bar, a couple of bars of soap, you know, or maybe some of this, or maybe some shampoo, some soap of some type. I try to get a soap of some type every time I go to the store. All right. Number four. Let's see if I can find them. I got a lot of stuff over here, y'all. Drink mixes. Tea bags. Liquid IV. Been buying some of that. Some of these. I buy these a lot. The, I like the lemonade and the orange. I even have some of the uh, nutrient survival immune boosters. I got a bunch of these little packets as well. Uh, during the SHTF, uh, we're not going to have, you know, some people may be stacking soda. I can't afford to stack soda. So I don't want to drink water all the time. So, you know, if it's hot, I need something like this. If it's not hot, I can go with something like that or something like this. Uh, coffee would be in this section, but I don't drink coffee. I buy some every now and then for barter. That's about it. So, okay, uh, number four, drink mixes. Number five, flour or some sort of baking products. Some, something like this, the Jiffy Biscuit Mix. This is already back sealed, y'all. Hard as a rock. Uh, flour, self-rising and all-purpose. You will need both. Uh, so yeah, flour. Uh, the way I, I do my flour is uh, when I go to the drugstore, my pills come in a nice little plain white paper sack. And I'll take half of this and put it in that little pharmacy sack and back seal it and back seal this. Because it's hard to back seal these. You, you have to open the bags up and fold them over really to get a good suction on, on a bag of flour. But um, that's how I do it. That way, 
the uh, the little bag is free, and then I can just take a half, you know, maybe part of it out, put it in a little white bag, back seal that. <sighs> Excuse me, and then back seal the rest in the, in here. Baking products. Uh, some way to make bread. It could be a cake mix. It could be a, a whatever. Some way to have some bread. I try to pick something like that up every time. The next one I try to pick up all the time, again, back sealed, is rice. Uh, I, you know, I dole mine out in the small little portions. I, I try to pick up a bag of rice every time I go to the store, whether I need it or not. Uh, okay, self-explanatory on that one. Number seven, another self-explanatory one right here. Beans. All right. Beans. These are pintos, but I buy a variety of different kind of beans. Sometimes it'll be black beans. Sometimes it'll be pintos. Like I've even got some great northerns in there, you know, in my box of beans that I got going. So uh, beans. I pick up beans, even if it's just a one-pound bag. I'll, I'll buy some every time I go to the store or try to. Uh, the next one up. Let's see here, number eight. Pet supplies, all right? I have two dogs. Uh, so yeah, pet supplies. Uh, if I'm on a financially crunch, uh, if I'm in a financial crunch, I'll get some old Roy or some cheap stuff. If I'm doing good, I'll get some pedigree. It's a little bit higher price, but uh, pet supplies. And not only things like this, but you know, could be collars, leashes, whatever you're going to need to take care of your pet. Uh, pet supplies. I buy something for pet supplies every time I go to the store. All right. Set that old side over there. Number nine is a tool or a prep for my shed or my shop. Could be a tool. Good, good pair of channel locks here. This is one of my recent purchases. A hasp in case I need to lock something up. A paintbrush. Paintbrush is a good prep. What if you need to, what if you have a project uh, later on and you can't go to the store and get a paintbrush? Have one on hand. Could be something as simple as duct tape or uh, gorilla tape, you know. Some kind of, I try to get some kind of prep for the shop uh, or the shed every time I go. So, uh, you know, I try to make sure my shed is supplied with things I need, whether it be tools or a roll of wire or whatever, you know, the little wire doohickeys, terminals, whatever. I try to make sure I got plenty of stuff in there to work on something if I have to. And number 10, where's it at? A way to start a fire. I try to pick up at least one pack of Bix. Or maybe I'll get a few boxes of matches or whatever. A way to start a fire. Uh, if you're buying things like this every time you go to the store, you really won't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Uh, yes, I have ferro rods. I have multiple ferro rods. But it's also good and convenient if it's raining or if you're trying to get something cooked in a hurry or whatever. It's good to have these items too. Okay. So that is my list of the 10 things I buy at the store every time I go. Uh, something to think about. Uh, so yeah, I try to compartmentalize each thing and make sure I'm still buying canned meat every time I go or pet supplies or drinks or whatever. Uh, these are the types of things that I try to get uh, at least one of in each category every time I go. Uh, so I appreciate y'all's attention. I appreciate your uh, your support of the channel, even though it's been kind of, yeah, we ain't done much here lately. I apologize for that. Again, busy on the farm here, uh, doing things, getting, getting things ready for winter time, that kind of stuff. Cutting hay, baling hay, bush hogging, 
Uh, I have been riding the four-wheeler quite a bit. Been enjoying some trail time with the boys. The dogs love to run. So, uh, forgive me. Sometimes I need a break from the old tubers here. Uh, remember Romans 12, 21, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Uh, and uh, God bless you is my prayers. This is Farmer Son Prepping. Stay on it, y'all. I know I say it a lot, but stay on it. Do the three things, you know, do, do the do the pray, plan, and prep can, can you know, and keep that going. Uh, God bless you. This is Farmer Son Prep. I'm finally going to shut up. <laughs>